Hello everyone, welcome to question number 4 on advanced question series on parabola. Our today's question is prove that the area of the triangle formed by the three points on the parabola which is taken randomly is twice the area of the triangle formed by the tangent at this point. Okay. Now, as a note, you have to remember this result. This re result is very important and previously it is asked in IITJE also. So, in order to prove this, I'm going to take a standard parabola and this is the most standard parabola which we take in order to prove any result. Now, I'm going to take y square is equal to 4ax and as a note, you have to remember this. So, let's start with the rough schematic. Let's say this is our parabola, y square is equal to 4x and this result is true for any parabola you have to remember. So, let's say I'm taking any three points here. Let's say a point is this t1, that is a t1 square comma 2 a t1, b point is here, that is t2 and similarly, I'm selecting the C point here, that's T3. Now, they are saying, if I join these three, okay, we'll get a triangle. As you can see, this is our triangle. Now, they are talking about the area of this triangle and they are talking about one more triangle that is formed by, if I draw at this three points, if I draw tangents and then tangents will intersect at three points, we'll get one more triangle outside. So, let's draw that triangle. So, tangent at A will be something like this. Tangent at B will be something like this and tangent at C will be something like this. So by joining the tangents, I think we are getting the three point of intersection. Let's call the point of intersection as this point is P, next point is Q and this point is R here. Now uh, we are getting a triangle outside that is this triangle that is triangle PQR and Inside, by joining the three points on the parabola, we are getting a triangle ABC, as you can see. Now, what they are asking is, they are asking us to prove the area first of triangle ABC, which is inside, will be twice the area of triangle PQR. We need to prove this. And this is valid again for any parabola you take. Now, I'm going to start with the points. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to identify the points. So, A point is the coordinates will be a t1 square comma 2 a t1 here. Similarly, B point will be a t2 square comma 2 a t2. Similarly, the C point is a t3 square comma 2 a t3. Now, I'm going to similarly, I'm going to write the points P, Q, R because the moment I get the point three points of a triangle, immediately we'll calculate the area of the triangle using determinants, we can easily calculate. So, P. So, P is the point which we getting by the intersection at drawing tangent at T1 and as you can say here, T2. So, I think all of you remember the point of intersection of the tangent drawn at T1 and T2 that is A T1 T2 comma uh, A times T1 plus T2 here and this is very standard result. Now, Q point. Q point is made with the intersection of T1 and T3 as you can see. So, A T1 T3 comma A times T1 plus T3. Similarly, that R point you can generate easily. R point is generated by an intersection at T2 and T3. So, A T2 T, T3 comma A times T2 plus T3. Now, once we got the points, I'm going to calculate the area of these two triangles using determinants. Now, I'm going to start with the area of triangle ABC whole divided by area of triangle PQR here. So, I think in order to calculate the area, I can do one thing. I can take determinant, half of determinant and then the x coordinate is a t1 square, y coordinate is a t2, a t1 and then here 1. Similarly, a t2 square comma 2 a t2 comma 1, a t3 square comma 2a t3 comma 1. These are the coordinates and I'm going to divide the area of triangle PQR. And what we need to prove? If the area of triangle ABC is twice of PQR, then this ratio should turn out to be 2. Okay. Now I'm going to divide by half determinant of. Now I'm here I'm, I should take mod here on both sides because a determinant, if determinant gives you a negative value, area of triangle cannot be negative. If in case something comes out negative in the end, I'll adjust with the mod. So, I'm, here I'm not applying the mod. So, half of 
let's check the p coordinate p coordinate is a t1 t2 and a t1 plus t2 so a t1 t2 and a t1 plus t2 here and then 1 similarly the q point is a t1 t3 so a t1 t3 comma a t1 plus t3 here and then 1 and the last one is a t2 t3 so a t2 t3 and then a times t2 plus t3 here and then 1 now here i'm going to simplify this by column and row transformation so i think the best one will be i think row transformation so here i'm going to apply before applying row transformation i can simplify see half and half i can cancel immediately here from first column i'm going to take a a a common and here i'm going to cancel out this a from first column similarly from the second column i'm going to take 2a 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 and that a will cancel out from the second column so i think here we are left with two times and then determinant i'm going to write before writing the determinant i'm going to take the column trans row transformation so row 1 goes to row 1 minus row 3 similarly row 2 goes to row 2 minus row 3 i'm going to apply in both of the determinants i'm going to apply this so here we'll get this as twice determinant so the first uh, i think first one will be t1 square minus t3 square first element so that i can write t1 minus t3 and then multiplied by t1 plus t3 here second one will be getting t1 minus t3 here and the third one is i think 1 minus 1 0 here whole thing divide by here i'm going to take t2 square minus t3 square that is t2 minus t3 and then t2 plus t3 here and the second element will be t2 minus t3 here and this will be 0 and the last will be as it is t3 square and then t3 here and then 1 here similarly i'm going to write this one so this one will be if you're subtracting the third row element then i think i can take t2 common here if i take t2 common remaining is t1 minus t3 next i think t2 and t2 will cancel out i think here we'll get t1 minus t3 here and then the last element will be zero of this row similarly in these two i think i can take t3 common if i take t3 common then we'll get t1 minus t2 and then similarly i'll get here t1 minus t2 here and then zero and as it is t2 t3 and then here you will get t2 plus t3 now again i'm going to simplify this so see here in the first determinant in the numerator i think i can take t t1 minus t3 common from the first row so if i take t1 minus t3 from the first row t1 minus t3 from the denominator determinant will cancel out as it is similarly from the second row i think i can take uh, here t2 minus t3 here so t2 minus t3 i'm going to take common so we'll get twice of t2 minus t3 here and rest the value of the determinant and whole thing divided by we'll get something from denominator determinant i think i can take t1 minus t2 t1 minus t2 common so t1 minus t2 common multiplied by the value of determinant now i'm going to expand the determinant both of the determinant from column 3 so if i expand from column 3 i think this element this element is 0 through 1 i'm going to expand so this will be plus minus again plus with a plus we're going to open so with a plus if you open you need to cross multiply the values so t1 plus t3 minus t2 plus t3 so i think t3 t3 will cancel out here we'll get t1 minus t2 only similarly i'm going to open the determinant again the denominator from column 3 so if you open from column 3 you'll get the difference of two values that's it so that will be t2 minus t3 now as you can see here t2 minus t3 will cancel out with t2 minus t3 here and t1 minus t2 will cancel out t1 minus t2 from here we're getting area of triangle abc as twice the area of triangle pqr and we have proved for any parabola this result is valid and you have to remember this result so here we have proved this and that will be all.